Section 13 b is about solving inequalities. We're going to start with a definition about what an inequality is. An inequality is an open sentence that contains one of these four symbols. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. You can write inequalities like this. Maybe I have an expression, something like that. These are both inequalities. They're not equations because they don't have equal signs but they're inequalities because they're not equal. They use those symbols. One of the important questions I'd like to ask and we want to talk about is how are solving equations and solving inequalities different? I want to illustrate that by showing you something simple like x equals 3 and x is greater than 3. And I want to talk about the solutions to these. Well here, what number can you put in for x that will equal 3? The answer is 3. That's the solution. Now if you go over here and you say x greater than 3, what values make that true? Well, 4 makes it true, so does 5, so does 6, so does 7, so does any number that's bigger than 3. So the difference here is when you're solving an equation, you're going to have one solution, but when you're solving an inequality, you could potentially have more than one solution. That's an important point as we look to solve inequalities. Here's an example. We want to find a solution set for this inequality given the replacement set. Remember, replacement set are values that you replace the letter with. So I'm going to start by replacing the y with the number 7. 18 minus 7 is 11, is 11 less than 10. And we do very similar to what we did when we solved the equations. We say true or false. In this case, it's not true. So you can go over here and you can even cross 7 off the list. Now let's put 8 in. I get a 10. 10 is less than 10. That's a false statement. 10 equals 10, but it's not less than 10. So we can cross 8 off the list because 8 is the number that we plugged in. I want to make sure you understand that we're plugging those numbers in to the green circle. The next one is 18 minus 9, which gives us a 9. Is 9 less than 10? The answer there is true. 9 is a solution to this inequality. It's a, it's a number that makes the inequality true. Now I want you to notice these numbers, they get bigger. And if I continually plug in a value that gets bigger and I take it away from 18, I'm going to keep getting numbers that are less than 10. Let me show you one more just to prove my point. 18 minus 10 is 8 and that is less than 10. So 10 is also a solution. And in fact, if you wanted to plug 11 and 12 in, you could, but if you notice the pattern that continues, we can write our solution this way, because it has to be a solution set. 9, 10, 11, and 12 are all values that make this inequality true. Here's our next example. I want to find a solution set for this inequality given this replacement set. We'll start by plugging values in. and doing algebra. 12 minus 1.5. PEMDAS says multiply first, so 31.5 minus 2 is 29.5. Is that less than or equal to 28? And the answer is that it's not, so we can cross that one off the list. And now we'll plug 2 in. 3 times 10 minus 2. That's a 30 minus 2. That's a 28. Is 28 less than or equal to 28? Well, it's not less than, but it is equal to. And this little bar underneath says equal to is OK. So we say that that one's going to work. Now, because the rest of my numbers all get bigger, that means I'm going to have a smaller number here which when I multiply by 3 will be smaller, and so the pattern will continue, and you write your answer this way as a solution set, separated with commas.